Hi, Henry. Hello, mate. How are you doing? I'm, I'm very good. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. You're having a nice morning. I am, actually. Yeah, a bit more rested than usual. We've had a fairly busy schedule up until... Well, it's still busy, but I got, uh, I think, six and a half hours sleep rather than less last night, which is wow. good. It's good. That is impressive. It, you, you, you just kind of get, yeah, you, just, you get used to the, the busyness. First up, I would like to mention that thing that used to be in between your nose and your upper lip that's got quite a lot of attention. Right. Um, do you miss it? I... Yeah, you know what? When I first shaved it, I did. Mm. I thought my lip looked really weird. And I swear my lip has changed shape since <laughs> I shaved it. I think it was something to do with the way I held my face when I had a moustache. Mm. That that changed when I had shaved it off again. So yeah, part of me missed it, but then, then now that my face has settled back into its normal shape, I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Are you glad it made its on-screen debut? Long awaited. <laughs> yes. Yes, very much so. Uh, it was it was a fun, fun character piece to have, and I think really helped the character. and And uh, I'm glad that it's out there now. Mm. Have you considered? There's probably a nice little sideline you could set it up with, like its own Instagram account, maybe get it its own agent. You know, it was definitely a consideration at one stage. It was, uh, but a lot of the agencies refused to work with my moustache, oh. and so I, I I just had to, yeah, I had to cut that mm. off. What is this moustachism? Not cool. Yeah, no, it's not cool. Towards the end of the film, without giving too much away, your character ends up with a really <laughs> horrific sort of injury right down the side of the head. How did the sort of the makeup work for that? What was it? There, I mean, without without giving too much away, there was there was a definitely a prosthetic element. Mm. Very cool looking. Slightly creeped out. The whole film actually had a load of awesome stunts. Did you have a favourite? Uh, favorite stunt there was the helicopter sequence in general was really really enjoyable very very cold mm. and extremely dangerous but the pilots my pilot and Tom very talented and so thankfully no lives were lost especially mine <laughs> and for me the biggest thing was the scenery as much as it was nuts that we were flying through canyons twice as wide as this room in helicopters chasing each other at full speed and doing all sorts of crazy ducks and weaves and everything. It was absolutely stunning scenery and I would do it again in a heartbeat. It's sort of like a paid sightseeing holiday, really. Kind of, yes. <laughs> not not for the faint of heart. Mm, I had no idea it was real. I just assumed that was all CGI. That's really uh, cool real. to know. Yeah. That is very impressive. You're from Jersey. Jersey is a place that fascinates me. I went there on holiday a couple mm -hmm. of years ago. Yeah. It's really weird because it's, it's like the UK, but it's also sort of not the UK. It's sort of half, half. What's it sort of like as a place to live and grow up? Uh, it's, it's, well, it's a very small island and very mm. beautiful, and it's got its own identity. It really does. Um, for me, I love growing up there. Lots of time as a kid on the beach. Mm. Lots of fond memories of going to the beach as a kid. The beaches there are stunning. And... It's always fun going back as well. The weather always felt slightly better than the UK down there. I mean, it's off the coast of France, so I suppose it's quite a bit mm. further south. But it, um, I, I did enjoy it and would highly recommend anyone going. It's a cool place. Although I did sort of turn into a lobster, I got horrendously sunburnt. It was it not fun. It happens. I've noticed you've got a really, really cool sounding voice. Thank you. Have you ever considered, like, maybe if this all goes wrong, like radio career or reading audiobooks? Uh, hopefully, hopefully it doesn't go wrong, and hopefully I can have my radio career through my films. Fingers crossed. And maybe do audiobooks as well at the same time. But thank you, I appreciate the compliment. <laughs> it would be good. I would listen to that. You could read like something incredibly mind-numbingly dull, and I would enjoy it. Ah, oh, I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. And finally, this will be totally relevant by the time this interview goes out, but I felt like asking it anyway. France or Croatia? Uh, I would say France. I know that's probably not a standard answer because a lot of people like to win, uh, lose to the winners of mm. the World Cup. But I was just in France and the French were supporting the English uh, while we were there. So, well, who, the French who I were with anyway. And so I felt like it's, um, it's nice to return the favour to a neighbour. Mm. You know? Very nice. And I'm all done. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. You take care, mate. And you.